Hey everybody, Steven here. Another video talking about displaying my Asus Strixscar 3 here over to my ultra wide monitor. I was using HDMI that had some limitations with it. With this, this has the USB C uh, 2 generation, the 3.1. So I actually got the extender that is a USB C extender to display port. So sorry for the cords here, but that's what that is. I just got this all set up and it's actually capable of running the 100 hertz just because the hdmi wasn't capable of that it was only running 50 hertz now i was able to actually pull up games and it was still saying that it was displaying in 60 hertz which was interesting but even in the settings it said it, it wasn't able to do that where i was actually able to pull it up with this and display at the full 100 hertz so with this uh, just checking the graphic settings i'm playing red dead redemption 2 we got it at 3440 by 1440p at 100 hertz full screen. Um, I'm running G-Sync with this also because this is a NVIDIA graphics card. It's the full GTX 2070 here, not the Max-Q version. So I have G-Sync enabled and then V-Sync off so that it'll actually do the G-Sync there. And then in terms of settings, <clears throat> texture quality is ultra. Uh, we have uh, the filtering here at 16, lighting ultra, uh, global illumination ultra, shadows high high and then you're seeing a mixture of high and medium settings here right and then they even have some of the vulcan stuff here mostly set to high with this so i mean we're running this at a very not it's not ultra on everything right but i found these settings to work best just in general for all of my pcs and it's running this which is awesome um red dead is is utilizing uh 35 26 megabytes so 3.5 gigs right from the video card here if we pull this up it looks phenomenal right i'm i'm super stoked about this i was curious to see if i could display this now i'm not running both monitors that's the big thing here i'm not running this monitor and that or an extension i'm running everything from this to this so it's essentially my it's like my mini atx build almost right i'm just running the laptop now it is loud you can hear it Right, so I do have to keep this on turbo and I put it in turbo before I play the game, otherwise it lags. But with G-Sync here, no tearing, no stuttering. The only thing I've seen is when it's clicking in some games that the settings aren't right, it momentarily like blips and then it pulls it up and it forces it to play in um, 1080p. But once that's corrected, I haven't had any problems with this. Like this is in incredible. Um, I haven't tested online yet, but it's super smooth. We're pulling 42, 43, 44 frames a second here. Good news is, is that this actually has the speakers built into it also, which I haven't tweaked those to make sure that they were on high, but let's get out a gun here. Dropped into the 30s for a second. I could always tweak the settings to run less if I wanted that, but I'm completely fine with this. This is a slower paced game anyways. Yeah, so shooting when it's in this mode. Let's see. Oops, give that. So first person, it struggles a little bit more. We got like 38 frames per second where we're back into the mid 40s now, 43 to 44. So hopefully that answers anybody's question. I was curious about that. How would I run it? What would it look like? Would it be able to play on my ultra wide or just a monitor in general, but still have the graphic quality that I'm expecting that I'm gonna get on the actual laptop? Like I said, we went from, this is a 1080p monitor upscaled to 1440p here. It's the i7-9750H CPU with the full GTX 2070 graphics card. So that is it. If you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that, I'll be doing a full review for this as I test it more and more. I'm just stoked that it actually does this. This is pretty cool. So now when I'm not able to use my PC upstairs and I'm gonna come down here and I just wanna do personal gaming, I can actually run these two things. And then this can still travel with me, which is awesome. So kind of the best of both worlds with that. So that is it, everybody. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.